Hello guys, this is like a video about farm tips, how to do your farm the fastest and easiest way, what should I do? So, for, as you can see, like I already have most of my things built up, so the first thing you do when you create your farm is you're going to try to bind it. So bind it, you're going to go to account, and you're going to bind it at the account on AM30. And another p tip that I have for you is like you can have the same email for like 10 farms and you may ask yourself well how do i do that let's say like your, your email is lol at gmail.com so you're gonna put l dot o l so the em30 is gonna recognize it as a different email but every validation or confirmation email that they have per account is gonna be on the same email so you can have like a uh, 10 or 20 farms on the same email and you're going to bind it here once you bind it you're going to have 100 gems that you can use to to make like your first like upgrades really fast because what you want to do is rush to level six but remember this you have to change zone before you reach castle level six or you will get stuck to the zone that like the game assigned for you so i recommend you doing it at, at like a castle level three because you can change your name and you can use like your newbie teleport to province 73, which is the province that we are all like playing in. Another tip is on pin code setting. You're going to set up a, a pin, set up something that you're going to remember. And then after that, you're going to go to pin code setting and enter the pin code when logging in via the same device. You're going to put no because or else you're going to have to put the pin over and over and over every time you change your accounts and that's going to be boring so remember this so after you get the class uh, the castle sorry at level six you're going to have to pick a class i already picked trader why do i pick trader and not farmer well farmers they gather resources faster but you cannot attack a farmer, you cannot farm a farmer because they protect most of their resources. So that will eliminate the point of being a farm at all. So you're just going to pick trader because you're going to be able to farm your farm. You're going to have more gold production. And on the trading, like a uh, trading house, you're going to have like a lot of speed ups and resources that you can use to make your farm progress faster. And that's that's about it another thing on technology i already like a uh, did rapid growth because of uh, i did already some missions these are gonna be your main points you're gonna research rapid production and town development and that's basically what you need for your farm you don't need to research anything else and you should start on rapid production because it's the most basic thing and then you move on to town development. After that, you don't really need anything. Remember, only upgrade things that you need to progress your castle level. Your main point, like objective or point is to be upgrading your castle to level 15. Excuse me. At level 15, you're going to have a total income of 1 million resources per day. So this means 1 million food, 1 million wood, 1 million stone, 1 million iron. So every day you're going to have 1 million at level 15. This is what you're going to try to do. Another tip is like on national quest. I still didn't select it, so that's why I stopped. I'm going to be Duchess because I'm trader. I can't really like have another option. And this is just because I saw that a lot of people don't know this. But let's say, let me search you. I always go for Jax because he has 5k experiences in 4 hours for 3 accounts. So that's like really good. So let's say like I, I send my Legion into Jax's national mission. A lot of people fail to remember this. You have cards. These cards that you see here, buy and sell, lazy, fair, and witty. You upgrade these cards by raising your level in national quest, which you can see here. See, at the moment, I just have two points. And I'm going to use them here. 
And if everything is correct, once I go here on National Quest, let's go again to Jax. But I'm not going to really send the troops right now. See? But remember this. It's a guild card, so it will only go on guild. See? I don't have guild, so I can't use it. A social card, also the same thing. So you have to unlock the cards for the the places that you have available. So just like a small thing that I wanted everyone to remember. Okay, another tip is like always put your farms the same level as your castle. These are the most important things. Also, another way to like uh, save up some resources is your main objective is upgrade which is I'm going to I can't do it now because I have to upgrade the um, the farms first, but always upgrade your storage and your farms. Max out your farms and then max out your storage. Because this is like the priorities. Okay. And that's about it. I think I talked about everything. Uh, no, actually, I forgot one thing. What I wanted to say is after you upgrade farms and after you upgrade storage, you will get to a point where you should have, at level 15, you should have like a, a minimum of 3.5 million charcoal. So, you know, like when you upgrade your charcoal, it gets to a point where you're going to put 300k per unit per charcoal factory. So what you do is like you upgrade your trading like balloon. Uh, I think that's the name. I still don't have it. I think because I still didn't got. Oh, it's here. So this is the thing I just want to show you. So let me just put it somewhere. Okay. Sir said like at level 13, but I checked on mine and at level 10, you already are able like to trade like some charcoal. So what you want to do is also raise the trading house to level 10 or 13. Depends on how much you want to raise it. So you can actually buy charcoal instead of like burning your wood because you want to like keep your wood. You, you want to keep your wood so like you can farm it with your main account. And this is also a tip to save some resources. Also, not on the beginning because on the beginning you have to have population to, because you have to like uh, rush as much as you can your castle level but try not to feed your tavern because it will only burn like resources i doubt that it's gonna like have a huge impact in, on a farm because you're not gonna build an army but this is a tip that you can also use on your main account you only feed your tavern when you actually need the population so it's good to keep good habits when you unlock the the um, the first missions it's going to give you like a hero. Don't forget like to station it. I don't have it right now. But always pay attention to these heroes. For example, this one gives me more lumber like rapid production. It's green, so it's not going to be that good. But the purple ones are very nice. That's what you're trying to look for. And that's what you're going to use your purples and metals to maximize. And I think I talked about everything. So key points. Bind your account on EM30. Don't forget to like uh, change your zone before castle level like uh, 3. Also, this is very important. Everyone should know this. You search the moment you change to province 73, you search for fluffy pink bunnies and you apply to the farm alliance. What you should do is you should put the name of your main account that is in our main alliance so we actually know who you are. Also remember the pin code settings. Remember to deactivate it. So you don't have to like put your, your pin every single time you change your account. Rush your castle. Upgrade your farms. Rush your storage. Upgrade your trading house so you can actually buy charcoal. So you don't have to burn wood. And research technology. Research rapid production. Research town development. And... Use the heroes that you have that are good on your um, on your town hall, like to help like with production. And that's basically it, guys. If I skipped something, I probably like said it earlier. So good luck.
Have fun with your